gonna be 111 today. I just got off the water, forgot to film my intro. But I wanted to show y'all how I go about catching summertime crappie, how to find some big ones in deep, you know, 18, 20 feet of water. Get out here, beat the heat. Now, I didn't come out here with the sole intent to get a lemon. I picked the ramp that has no bridges around it because it's too easy for me to go sit up under a bridge and grind for two or three hours and get a limit. So the heat index today is 111. I went out there and I grinded some deep brush piles. Ended up getting a pretty good mess and a couple hee haws. So hope y'all enjoyed the video. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button for me. Subscribe if you haven't because I don't know. Maybe you want to learn how to catch more Number one on this hot summer day. Nice little 10 incher. Got him on that midnight. Yes, sir. That's some nice size fish in this brush pile. Quality fish. I can get a couple of them to bite. God, that's a nice one. He gone. <laughs> Look at the size of that summer crappy. <laughs> Hook fell right out. Done bent my hook a little bit. That one about 13 inches. There's some bigger ones than that in there too. It's number two. I bend this hook back. See if we can get another one. Alright, so the first spot picked up three, but you know, three pretty good ones, honestly, for this time of year. But like I said at the beginning, it's gonna be a 111 heat index today. So I may come back to these on the way back through, but I'm gonna keep on moving, see if I can find some more active fish. But that's, that's honestly one of the best things about summertime is catch a couple, keep going, catch a couple, keep going. So I'm gonna go try this sunken boat at this marina right now if ain't nobody on it if somebody on it i'm gonna go around the corner but that's my plan right now then come back through and fish all this so i think it's about eight o'clock right now we got about three four hours before it gets unbearable so let's go get it i swear this dock gets ricketer and ricketer every time i come through here there was a whole dot that came out to these poles, but I guess it done washed away. Never stood why people don't fix the dang marina. You got a couple good docks over here so people can get some gas. I don't know. It is what it is. I remember growing up, we'd come out here and fish off the dock. There ain't no dang way you can get out here now. Which they kicked us off after a while <laughs> we caught a lot of crappy sitting on this dock though let's see if there's any in here there we go <clears throat> i only got one holy crap dude Oh, 
<laughs> yeah, that's a nice summertime crappy right there. <laughs> he says, subscribe to the channel to catch more hee haw, hee haw, hee haw. That's a thick one. Took me a while, but still got him on that midnight. I had to switch to a 164 ounce jig head. <clears throat> I believe my pole was scaring them because I got the, the 116 ounce on it. I mean, I don't know if that's 100% true, but <clears throat> I switched and I finally caught one. So we'll see if that makes a difference. It could just be the winding thing, too. It's always something. Spot number two yielded one fish. Good fish, don't get me wrong, probably 14, 15 incher. Nice summertime crappie. Whew. But it's time to get hot, we're gonna move on. There really wasn't a lot of fish there, there's a lot of big fish. But I believe a lot of them were probably like 15 inch bass maybe, or a little catfish or something. But there was some mixed in good crappie with them. So I'm gonna go try to hit some docks couple little brush piles see if we can just find some active fish that's, that's kind of what i'm looking for but with it being so hot that's going to be harder to do than anything so we're going to hit this area then we're probably going to come back through weed through some more areas hit some more brush that i got on back towards the ramp hopefully we can put together a decent limit but we already got some good ones so i'm already happy So we found a pretty decent looking brush pile here. A couple follows on my, my 13 foot pole, but couldn't get them to commit. So we'll sit, switch to casting, see if that changes anything. Which normally it does. There we go. First throw casting. <laughs> Another quality fish. And he gonna break my line. <laughs> yeah, probably nine and a half, ten inch here. Oh, he didn't break me. He just knocked my loop out. Sweet. Pop that back in, we're ready to roll. <laughs> that one wasn't giant, but at the same time, that's actually a pretty good thing. The bigger ones are a lot harder to get the bite. But that is two casts, two bites, so it could be a good thing. Yes, sir. Found some active ones. Get up in here, buddy. Number six on that midnight. On this hot day. This brush pile is just freaking unreal at that amount of fish on it. And they are hungry. 
There's a guy on his porch watching me. Kind of weird. And no. <laughs> we lost him. All right. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. It was definitely a grind. My li I hate my live scope died at about halfway through, but we MacGyvered that crap and improvised. I was able to put a couple more in the boat. I'm not saying if the live scope didn't die, I would have limited out, but I probably could have got a couple more in the boat. I did lose two. I think we ended up with about 13. So all in all, 15 good bites. I didn't have any under 10 inches, so putting over here at Buffalo Creek where there's no bridges and you got to scan around a lot <clears throat> plus with the gas prices I didn't have enough gas to run a lot so hope y'all enjoyed the videos I'm trying not to slow down but that heat it's getting to me it's getting to me so if y'all have any questions that I could talk about teach you something about let me know down in the comments below so I'm able to shoot some videos at the house. Give the water a break until this heat wave goes out. But I will see y'all on the next one.